Hey, this is Ms. Rocker again. Um, we're going to look at how to determine what the parent function of a linear equation, linear function, a quadratic function, an absolute value function look like when you're looking at a table. Um, the first thing I'm going to start off with is your linear function. So, your linear function is going to be set up in the format y equals mx plus b. y equals mx plus b. Now, the way that you know that's a linear function is because when you have a specified slope or your end value and a specified y-intercept, this helps you understand like how what numbers you're going to be putting in for your y value so let's say i have the equation y equals 2x minus 1. if i plug in my zero it's going to be 2 times 0 which gives me 0 and then also if it's my negative 1. if i plug in 1 2 times 1 is 2 minus 1 is 1. 2 times 2 is 4 minus 1 is 3. 2 times a negative 1 is negative 2, minus 1 is a negative 3, and then this down here gives me a negative 5. The key thing that I have with this right here is that it is going a consistent rate, which in this case, as I go down, it's going down at a negative 2 value. So that's how I know if it is a linear equation. But the parent function will always be my y equals mx plus b. Now, when I look at a quadratic, I'm going to be looking at the formula f of x or y equals x squared. And the reason for this x squared is because a quadratic will always have one center point and then both sides will be mirror images of each other. So for just the base value right here of x squared, if I plug in 0 for x, my, zeros, my y value is going to be 0. It's always going to be my x value squared, which in this case, 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4. If, once I go to my negatives, if I know it's going to be a mirror image of what's already up here, negative 1 squared is 1, negative 2 squared is 4. And it's going to form a U shape with my bottom point right here. All points on this side of the parabola, parabola are going to match this side of the parabola as well. The last one I'm going to look at is an absolute value function. And my formula for this is going to be f of x equals the absolute value of x. And what that absolute value of x tells me is whatever number I put in for x is going to turn positive. So if it's already positive, it's going to stay that positive number. But once it's a negative number, which in this case, this is a negative 1, it's going to be a positive 1. This is a negative 2, that's going to be a positive 2. The shape that this makes is going to be a V shape. So if I have my vertex here, the distance that I go over and up this way is going to be equal to the distance I go over and up this way. Um, that goes over to parent functions, and I hope that you have a great time learning math.